Uh, I'm suspicious of all uh, of all babies. Okay. Um, uh, you know, there, there have been a few. There have been a few. My own, uh, my own children as babies. Um, you know, they were always up to stuff. What was? Um... They hiding in bins and cupboards because I think they got that from you. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Hey, it's Bex. I'm here with Danny Wallace. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? Very well also, and thank you for asking. Well, you know, I haven't seen you for so long. I was worried about you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I've been around. I just hide whenever whenever you walk by. Oh. I'm sometimes I'm in a bin. Okay. Sometimes I'm in a cupboard. Right. It depends how fast you're moving. I've got to find a hiding space. Right. I'm quite slow, so I imagine you've got loads of time to be honest. Yeah, I usually have. I usually have a good quarter of an hour. It makes it sound like also you're only either on the pavement or in a house. That's just my life. Well, good to know that. Uh, I'll look around for you more often then. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, it's just... like Where's Wally, except uh, Where's Wallace? <laughs> well, why don't you wear more red and white stripy tops? Well, I will from now on. Thank you. For... Well, finally, we've got to the, the thorny issue of <laughs> yeah. Where's Wallace. I'm, yes. glad we've, I'm glad we've got this sorted. <laughs> exactly. We should probably say, you've got a book out. I do. I have a book out. Uh, Hamish and the Baby Boom. This is the fourth one. It is. Now... How many are you planning in the series? 1,005. Okay, cool. But that seems fine. maybe not that many. That would take a long time. Uh, so at the moment, um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm writing them one by one and seeing where it goes. Now, I feel like you should explain to the listeners who've never really read the books before a little bit about Hamish. What is he up to? Well, Hamish is, um, he's, he's, a, he's a good lad. Um, he's not an angel, uh, but he lives in... He uh, yeah, exactly. He lives in a town called Starkley, uh, which is very, 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 uh, very, 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 very boring. Okay, so a bit dull. Yeah, yeah, that's another way. That's a better way of putting sure. it. Sure. It's, it's Britain's fourth most boring town, which I think makes it even more boring than the most boring town, because the most boring town's got something interesting about it, which is it's the most boring. But the fourth most boring town is where Hamish lives uh, until it starts to get interesting. Because lots of things start to happen in Starkly. Uh, and in this uh, adventure, and you don't need to have read any of the others to, to get into it, in this adventure, the babies rise up against us. How do babies rise up? Are they, can they physically rise up? Well, are you not suspicious of babies? I, I've got to say, I don't trust them. I met one recently and just kind of held it a little yeah. bit like, oh, are you okay? Oh. You mustn't trust a baby. Okay. You don't know what they're thinking. You don't know what they're doing. Half the time, they're just quietly staring at you. What are they up to? That's my big question. What are they planning? Uh, they could be up to anything. We, we, we move them round, don't we, in their own little transportation units, buggies and prams. <gasps> That's a good point. They're king, kings and queens of the world. Yeah. Yes. They have secret meetings. Uh, the, the rest of us aren't allowed to yeah. in, in sort of like toddler groups and all this kind of stuff. So Hamish is like, uh, he starts to notice that these babies are uh, behaving oddly and start to suspect that they've got plans. And boy, do they have plans. I need to know what the plans are, but I feel like I have to read the book to find out the plans. That's why I wrote it. Oh, no. I mean, yeah, good for you, but yeah, <laughs> fine. Whatever. Um, who's the most suspicious baby you've met? In real life? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I'm suspicious of all uh, of all babies. Okay. Um, uh, you know, there, there, there have been a few. There have been a few. My own, uh, my own children as babies. Um, you know, they were always up to stuff. What was um... they hiding in bins and cupboards? Because I think they got that from you. <laughs> yeah, probably. Uh, they're always creating mischief in their own way. And and what I've loved is um, I, I've been to a couple of schools uh, and talked to the kids about the book, and they've always got stories about their own little brothers and sisters and about the things that they do i'll tell you a disgusting thing that my 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 youngest baby did yes please so i've got three children and uh when my third son uh, my, well my third kid was born um uh, the doctor was very happy uh my wife was uh, was lying down and uh, she couldn't sort of move there's like sometimes when ladies give birth uh, they're sort of you know lying down sure um and she couldn't move her arms uh, because there was a, like a screen there and the doctor delivered my son, did a wonderful job, held him up, uh -huh. a bit like in The Lion King. The Lion King, King, yeah. And I'm filming, and it was a wonderful moment for me. It was not a wonderful moment for my wife, because the baby uh, immediately started uh, to pee. <laughs> like a beautiful, wonderful sight to behold. A wonderful Quite majestic. Arc. It was majestic. Yeah, I can imagine. It was great. Problem was, it was landing on my wife's face. <gasps> now, she can't move. No. I could stop the baby. But, but remember, I'm filming. 
and this is too good not to film. That's, that's you've been frame quality. Like, you can get some money out of that. Exactly. Yeah. And also, it's a magical moment. What's the first thing he did when he was born? Well, he did that. Uh, and so uh, you know, lots of people have got stories a bit like that. But that's also uh, why we must be suspicious of these uh, tiny beasts. Now you've said that, I don't think I ever want to meet a baby ever at all. Well, just, you know, respect the baby. Give the baby its space. Uh, but don't forget, they can attack. At any time? Any time. Okay, well, that's just good to know, good advice. Didn't think you'd, yeah. you'd give me that kind of advice today. I'm here to, to give advice to the, the children of Britain and you. Thank you, so just just me specifically <laughs> yeah. and the children. Yeah. Well, I do lead all the children, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. helpful. Um, now, I was looking online at your review of reviews of your book, yeah. and they are glowing. Oh, good. I uh, One kid said I wanted to give this 100 stars, but I was told I could only give it five, <laughs> which was amazing. And one kid said, um, this book is great fun, if not a bit peculiar. Oh, How good. do you feel about that? I think that's a wise child. Yeah. Um, yes, absolutely. I'm glad they liked it. I'm also glad they found it a bit peculiar. Mm. If they'd gone, this book is not peculiar in any Anyway, I don't think that's a compliment. I prefer this is this is a weird book. What do you think is the best compliment you could get from a kid about your book, not about you? Yeah, well, uh, well when's the next one? Uh, that's that's kind of a good compliment to get. They they want to know when the next one's out. And well, yeah, a lot of kids seem to be saying that as well. They were like, I need I need the whole series. I need as much as possible. I love that. You know, I remember when I was a kid and I'd get into something, and uh, there's a sort of comfort you get knowing that there are more that you can get into later on. Um, so yeah, so so that that's a good compliment to get. Now you've written Hamish. You've written four books of Hamish now. Yeah. How do you feel about him? Do you feel like he's like a real person when you write him? Do you feel like you just know them like the back of your hand? Yeah, I feel like yeah. In a weird way, he's like. Uh, um, another kid. I was going to uh, say, he's, is he your fourth child? Yeah, sort really? of. And his uh, his gang, you know, he's got his gang of friends, and there's Alice, who's like super cool. And you know, I think um, I think she's sort of my my favourite character in a way. Um, she is uh, all action, takes no nonsense, is uh, is funny, always has a nut and pickle baguette ready if she uh, needs to attack or defend yeah. against monsters. Um, so yeah, so uh, yeah, I, you know, Hamish is uh, real to me now. And what's the scariest thing you can think of that you haven't put in the book yet, but you maybe will plan for the future? Well, yeah. Well, I enjoy inventing these uh, these monsters. We've got monsters like, uh, they're called the Terribles. Um, and uh, I'm thinking of writing one, actually, um, about a terrible, terrible. As in a terrible who is terrible at being a terrible. Therefore, they're quite good. Yeah. Okay. But they don't want to be. They want to be bad because oh, that's how they fit in. That's but kind of heartbreaking. Yeah, I think so. So um, I might write a little thing uh, called The Terrible Terrible. Is that an exclusive? Can we say that's like an exclusive to fun kids? Yes, I've only just, you know, considered uh, it and said it out loud. Excellent. Great. Well, I think that means I've workshopped it with you. I get some kind of copyright for that? Absolutely not. Oh, right. No, that's that's fine. Okay. Fine. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. God, that's I thought okay. we were friends. Man. Uh, uh, you, should, you also do lots of other stuff. You do radio presenting and you write for adults as well. Yeah. And you, like you said, you have a family. Mm -hmm. How do you find all the time and are you tired? Like literally always. I'm exhausted, yeah. but happy. Good. I'm, I'm, you know, it's it's great. I love, I love mucking about with my kids. I love making them laugh. Um, I love. I, I noticed something I do, I do recently with my son that I didn't realize I did until recently. Um, but I, when I pick him up from school, I don't say, uh, "What did you learn today?" I usually say, "What made you laugh?" Because oh, right. I, I love those little moments, learning about them. Maybe it's a little moment between him and a friend. Um, maybe it's something a teacher said. Maybe it's a new fact that he's learned. But 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 finding out. What made your kid laugh when you weren't there is is a great thing to do. And I would recommend it to any parents listening now. And then do you use that and put it in your book? Because you're like, yeah. this will make kids laugh. <laughs> yeah. You should. Uh, now, for all authors who come in, we do a little quick fire round of questions. Let's is it, it okay to do it right now? Of course yeah? it is. Okay, cool. So the first one is super easy and everybody says the same thing, but mm -hmm. we've committed to it. Books or Kindles? Uh, well, books. Yeah, good. Uh, <laughs> heroes or villains? Oh, heroes. Okay. Uh, radio presenting or writing? Mm, writing. Okay. Oh, that, I mean, on brand for this, I suppose. You yes, have to say exactly. That, sure. um, film adaptation or TV adaptation? Oh, well, I think TV adaptation. Okay. Kids books or adult books? Kids books. Good. Again, on brand. Writing or reading? Oh, that's hard. Come on. Is this the hardest one so far? Writing. Okay, good. Would you rather have your own country or have your own media empire? Country. Good. Hogwarts or Narnia? Narnia. Oh, yeah. Okay. Really? Is I'd... that surprising? Yeah, I don't know why. I'm... Fine, fine. I don't judge you. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> laptop or write by hand? Uh, laptop. Good. Rodal or Jacqueline Wilson? Dahl. Yep. Bookshop visit or school tour? Oh. Ooh. I've 
never heard this noise before. Oh. Is this one of your monsters? What could I say? Bookshop visit or school tour? Yeah. I'm trying to be quick fire, but it's very difficult. I love that that's the one you're having trouble with. Bookshop. Bookshop. Yeah, because there are books there. Yep. Uh, and uh, I mean, schools the... famously have no books. <laughs> yeah, but those books you've got to write maths questions in and stuff. Oh, yeah. There's a world of stories in a bookshop. Okay. That's a very diplomatic answer. Okay. Yeah. The final, the big one that I will judge you for. Okay. Salt and vinegar or cheese and onion? What are you talking about, salt and vinegar or cheese and onion? Yep. Well, you really have to ask me that. I do. Why? I, you, I need what, to know for sure. How is that even a debate? Uh, yeah, tell me your answer. Well, I I want to know. In, I want to get into your brain. Why do you think this is a, a choice in any way? Because one of them is brilliant and one of them is terrible. Well, absolutely. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> I need to know. Okay. I I'm gonna say I'm gonna yeah. say yeah. salt and vinegar. Is best. Yes. And you're correct. Thank goodness for that. Yeah. Had you said cheese and onion, I would have had to delete this whole interview. <laughs> Quite right. It, it would have gone in the bin immediately yeah. where you've been hiding. Pickled onion, on the other hand. Monster Munch. Great stuff. Yeah, okay, I'll give you that, yeah. We actually have quite a lot of it out in the Fun Kids studio. Have office. you? Yeah, yeah. Why are we in here? I know, right? It's because I've, I've not been allowed to get out there because <sighs> I keep eating them and all the chocolates. I wondered what the smell was. And all the Mawam as well. <laughs> um, so thank you so much for coming in, Danny. Thank you for having me as always. Your book, Hamish and the Baby Boom, is out right now? Right now. Everybody needs to go and get it. Well, I know, that's what you know. Well, you need. Don't tell me that, tell them. Everybody needs to go and get it. There we go, I've pointed at the... The little camera there. Oh, there it is. So Great. hopefully that'll help. Yes. Um, brilliant. Well, thank you so much for coming in. Hopefully I'll see you for the fifth, sixth, seventh, and a thousand and fifth book. <laughs> yes, exactly. You'll get bored of me. <laughs> brilliant. I don't think I could. <laughs> Thanks, Danny. Thank cool. you.